Who doesn't love butter? We love all types of butter. Whether it's American, Irish, salted or unsalted, butter just makes everything better. So it makes sense that one of the big trends of this past year has been the rise of butterboards. But recently, people have been taking things a step further and are creating edible butter candles for their tables. 2022 is certainly the year of the butter. In fact, it's so trendy that butter candle videos have garnered more than 7 billion views on TikTok. Late last year, we saw the first spark of interest for butter candles. But as we've moved into the holiday season, interest has heated back up again. Why not try one for your holiday table? What's a butter candle? A butter candle is literally a candle sculpted out of butter instead of wax. Just set it out with a big hunk of crusty bread and light the edible wick. Talk about adding a new meaning to the term melted butter. The TikTok creator at Suzy the Foodie is widely credited with posting the first step-by-step -step butter candle video. At Suzy the Foodie my favorite thing to make is hands down butter candles hashtag candle hash butter hashtag nigh. Musical note to the moon. Junior Choi and Sam Tompkins. How do you make a butter candle? As far as kitchen arts and crafts go. Making butter candles is pretty easy. There are two approaches. Sculpting a softened stick of butter or melting butter and pouring it into a cup or cylinder to mold. To use the sculpting approach, unwrap a stick of butter and let it soften so it's malleable. Using plastic wrap, smash the butter flat and place an edible wick in the middle. Then, inside the plastic wrap, begin to roll the flattened butter into a cylindrical shape. At Spoon University TikTok can't stop talking about a beat intelligently musical note original sound. Spoon. University. For the melt and mold approach. Melt the butter and pour it into a cup. Cylinder or another vessel that has the shape you want. As the butter cools. Insert an edible wick. When it's almost fully hardened. Slide the candle out onto a board. Some cooks add roasted garlic to the mix for extra flavor. A butter candle's safe. Take the same precautions you would with any lit candle. Also, always make sure you use edible wicks. Usually made from hemp and food grade beeswax. Buttery recipes you'll love. Gooey butter cake A friend gave me a quick version of this gooey butter cake recipe using a cake. Mix but I prefer baking from scratch. So I made my own version. My family can't get enough. The middle will sink a little. This is normal. This dessert is delicious served warm or cold. Sherry Foster. Veil. Arizona go-to recipe. Wisconsin butter burgers. It's no secret that Wisconsinites love their dairy so much that they Sometimes top their burgers with a generous pat of butter. My recipe is a lot like the butter burgers you'll find in popular restaurants all over the state. Becky Carver. North Royalton. Ohio go-to recipe. Herb buttered baby carrots. The herb butter can be used for everything from vegetables to roast. Chicken. Turkey. Game hens. Let your imagination be your guide. Sandra Corey. Caldwell. Idaho go to recipe. Dreamy polenta. I grew up eating polenta. So it's a must at my holiday gatherings. Traditional recipes require constant stirring. But using my handy slow cooker allows me to turn my attention to the lineup of other foods on my spread. Anne Vocala. Milford. Connecticut go to recipe. Layered yellow cake with chocolate buttercream. This yellow cake will become your go-to recipe for birthdays. 
but the tender cake with flavorful chocolate buttercream is truly perfect for any occasion. Taste of Home Test Kitchen. Milwaukee. Wisconsin go to recipe. Lemon popovers with pecan honey butter. My mom passed this recipe down to me many years ago. We love the delicate lemon flavor with the pecan honey butter. The popovers are a nice addition to any dinner. But they're especially delicious at breakfast with a bowl of fruit and yogurt. Joan Halford. North Richland Hills. Texas go to recipe. Buttery herb roasted chicken. Roasting chicken is always such a comforting thing. Especially when you can pick the herbs right from your garden and pair them with some fresh citrus. To smear across the bird. My family can't get enough of this herb roasted chicken recipe. Jen Tidwell. Fair Oaks. California go to recipe. Easy biscuits whip up this buttery. Easy biscuit recipe to serve with breakfast or dinner. The dough is very simple to work with. So there's no need to roll with a rolling pin. Just pat to the right thickness. Taste of home test kitchen go to recipe. Kentucky butter cake. I found this Kentucky butter cake recipe in an old cookbook I bought at a garage sale and couldn't wait to try it. I knew it had been someone's favorite because of the well-worn page. Joan Gertz. Palmetto. Florida go to recipe. Homemade pierogi pierogi. Dumplings stuffed with a filling. Make for a wonderful change of pace side dish. Diane Gorys. Manchester. Tennessee go to recipe. Sautéed tarragon radishes who says radishes only belong in salads. These sautéed radishes are cooked in wine and tarragon. And may just change the way you look at radishes forever. These can be served on their own. Or added to your favorite O Grayton recipe. Taste of home test kitchen go to recipe. Oma's apple kitchen, grandma's apple cake. My husband's German family calls this Oma's apple kitchen, which translates to grandma's apple cake. They've been sharing the recipe for more than 150 years. I use Granny Smith apples, but any variety works. Amy Kirchen, Loveland, Ohio, go to recipe. Grilled veggies with caper butter. We enjoy the tart. Peppery taste of capers. No one likes a bland veggie. And caper butter helps peppers. Squash and zucchini shine. Danielle Crum. Indian Trail. North Carolina go to recipe. Aunt Rose's fantastic butter toffee. I don't live in the country. But I love everything about it. Especially good old fashioned home cooking. Every year, you'll find me at our county fair. Entering a different contest. This easy toffee recipe is a family favorite. Kathy Dorman. Snova. Michigan go to recipe. Blood orange caramel tart tatan. I never had blood oranges until I moved to California. The growing season is pretty short. So I use them in everything I possibly can. Whenever I have something to go to. My friends demand that I bring this dessert. The sweet orange flavor pairs perfectly with brown sugar and looks so lovely. Pamela Butkowski. Amosa Beach. California go to recipe. Butter and herb turkey. My kids love a turkey meal. And this one falls off the bone. It's the ideal recipe for special family times and holidays. Rochelle Popovich. South Bend. Indiana. Go to recipe. Classic butter pie pastry. This all butter pie crust makes a flavorful. Flaky pie. It is easy to handle and bakes to be golden brown and beautiful. Just like mom's. Taste of home test kitchen. Go to recipe. Chive garlic bread. A purchased loaf of French bread gets a real boost with a few simple ingredients. Garlic and chives make the savory slices irresistible.
along with lasagna or other Italian meal. We munch them until the last crumbs have vanished. Kim Moore, West Grove, Pennsylvania. Go to recipe. Buttery whiskey glazed pearl onions. I always have pearl onions on hand to add to stews and vegetable dishes. They're great pickled. 2. Every Thanksgiving, I make this glazed onion dish. It can easily be made ahead and reheated. Anne Sheehy, Lawrence, Massachusetts go to recipe. Holland butter cookies. My great grandmother's Holland butter cookies have been passed down in my family from generation to generation. This recipe uses only five ingredients that are usually already in the house. For different holidays, I swap the almonds for cherries, walnuts or ginger. Tinica de Rosa, Blairstown, New Jersey go to recipe. Holiday hot buttered rum mix. My family love serving this rich and delicious beverage around the holidays. It can be made with or without alcohol. So everyone enjoys it. Elisa Pertel. Browns Valley. California go to recipe. Vanilla butter sugar cookies. These butter sugar cookies are one of my favorite cookies to bake for Christmas. The dough recipe is versatile. So you can use it for other holidays. 2. Children like to help with the cookie decorating. Cynthia Ettel. Glencoe. Minnesota go to recipe. Buttery mashed potatoes. These creamy. Buttery mashed potatoes use simple ingredients. The tricks are to use Yukon gold potatoes and then to warm the cream and butter before adding them to the potatoes. Rashanda Cobbins. Milwaukee. Wisconsin go to recipe. Carrots Lyonnaise. This recipe from a junior high home economics class was brought home by my sister. Lori. My family liked it so much that it became a part of our Christmas dinner tradition. Elizabeth Plants. Kirkwood. Missouri go to recipe. Flaky Butterhorn Rolls. The recipe for these dinner rolls. Slightly sweet and so very flaky. Was my mother's. They are simple to prepare because kneading skills are not required and the dough is easy to handle. My grandchildren have renamed them, Grandma's Croissons. Bernice Smith. Sturgeon Lake. Minnesota go to recipe. Tender pecan logs. Folks always ask me to make these tender nutty logs. Not overly sweet. They're just right with a steaming cup of coffee or tea. Joyce Beck. Gadsden. Alabama go to recipe. Cheddar and chive mashed potatoes. My husband swears my cheddar mashed potatoes are the world's best. We always have some in the freezer. Sometimes I dollop individual servings in muffin cups and reheat them that way instead. Cynthia Gherkin. Naples. Florida go to recipe. Dutch letters these S-shaped super flaky butter pastries filled with almond paste and topped with. Crunchy sugar are popular in both Iowa and Holland during the Christmas season. Here's a recipe that will let you make and enjoy them all year round. Shirley DeLang. Byron Center. Michigan. Go to recipe. Cast iron loaded breakfast biscuits. These loaded breakfast biscuits are full of hearty breakfast. Ingredients like eggs. Bacon. Mushrooms and cheese. They are perfect to bake up on the weekends. Then freeze for a quick weekday breakfast. A gluten-free flour blend can be substituted for the all-purpose flour. Courtney Stultz. We're. Kansas go to recipe. Cranberry butter crunch bark. One Christmas I dreamed this recipe up when making butter crunch. Toffee. It is an addictive treat that disappears fast. Heather Ferris. Vanderhoof. British Columbia go to recipe. Nutty butter munchies. My sweet tooth flared up. So I had to get baking.
Peanuts and pecans are everywhere in Louisiana. So I worked them into my buttery drop cookies. Zanola Frazier. Tallulah. Louisiana go-to recipe. Cauliflower gratin Cauliflower gratin is a lower-carb side dish that pairs well with pork, ham or beef. It's so creamy and delicious that even the kids will ask for seconds. If you like a little crunch, sprinkle buttered bread crumbs over the top after 30 minutes of baking. Mary Zinchiak. Boardman. Ohio go-to recipe. Buttery orange sugar cookies My husband's grandmother made a variety of cookies every year for her grandkids at Christmas time. She would box them up and give each child his or her own box. This crisp orange flavored cookie is one of my favorites from her collection. Heather McKillop. Aurora. Illinois go to recipe. Miso buttered succotash The miso paste in this super simple and healthy canned vegetable recipe gives depth and a hint of savoriness. To brighten the flavor profile even more, you could add a splash of your favorite white wine. William Milton III. Clemson. South Carolina go-to recipe. Buttery bubble bread Homemade bread can be time-consuming. Difficult and tricky to make. But this fun to eat monkey bread. Baked in a fluted tube pan. Is easy and almost foolproof. If I'm serving it for breakfast. I add some cinnamon and drizzle it with icing. Pat Stevens. Granbury. Texas go to recipe. Pumpkin waffles with orange walnut butter. This is so delicious. Bring a flourish to the breakfast table with these unique and flavorful waffle. Brandy Davis. Pullman. Washington go to recipe. Bake sale lemon bars. The recipe for these tangy lemon bars comes from my cousin. Who is famous for cooking up farm feasts. Mildred Keller. Rockford. Illinois go to recipe. Creamy orange caramels. Each Christmas I teach myself a new candy recipe. Last year I started with my caramel recipe and added a splash of orange extract for fun. This year I just might try buttered rum extract. Shelley Bevington Fisher. Hermiston. Oregon. Go to recipe. Grilled corn in husks if you're new to grilling corn in the husk. Season the ears with butter. Parmesan cheese and parsley. It's especially good. Be sure to give the corn a long soak before putting it on the grill. Hot off the grate. The kernels are moist and tender with a wonderful sweet flavor. Nancy Zimmerman. Cape May Courthouse. New Jersey go to recipe. 7 UP pound cake My grandmother gave me this 7 UP pound cake recipe. On top of being delicious. This 7 UP cake represents family tradition. Connection and love. Marsha Davis. Desert Hot Springs. California go to recipe. Granny's apple scalloped potatoes This scalloped potatoes with apples dish is delicious with breaded baked pork chops, which you could cook at the same time in another cast iron pan. We are retired and it's just the two of us. But you could easily double the recipe. Shirley Rickies. The Villagers. Florida go to recipe. Buttery cornbread A friend gave me this homemade cornbread recipe several years ago. And it's my favorite of all I've tried. I love to serve the melt in your mouth side hot from the oven with butter and syrup. It gets rave reviews on holidays and at potluck dinners. Nicole Callan. Auburn. California go to recipe. Buttery grilled shrimp This grilled shrimp recipe is easy and delicious. These shrimp are great with steak. But for a special occasion. Brush the sauce on lobster tails and grill. Cheryl Schinberger. Albuquerque. New Mexico go to recipe. 
Buttery spritz cookies This tender spritz cookie recipe is very eye-catching on my Christmas cookie tray. The dough is easy to work with. So it's fun to make these spritz cookies into a variety of festive shapes. This is hands down the best spritz cookie recipe ever. Beverly Launius. Sandwich. Illinois go to recipe. Buttery radish baguette. My dad and brother are crazy for radishes. And this peppery baguette appetizer is a big time favorite. Add a sprinkle of fresh dill or parsley on top. Kathy Hewitt. Cranston. Rhode Island go to recipe. Butter dipped biscuit squares. These are the easiest and best biscuits I've ever made. They're light and buttery and go well with virtually any meal. Go to recipe. German butter pound cake cardamom and lemon peel mix with almond and vanilla flavors to add zip to. A classic butter pound cake. Christine M. Chase. Smithtown. New York go to recipe. Biltmore's bread pudding go to recipe. Chocolate eclairs with creamy filling and fudgy frosting. This chocolate eclair recipe is extra special. Jessica Campbell. Viola. Wisconsin go to recipe. Lemon butter spritz cookies. This recipe makes a lot of terrific cookies. It's great for Christmas when all the kids and grandkids visit. They can help decorate the cookies not to mention help eat them. Paula Pelles. Rocky Point. New York go to recipe. Buttery sweet potato casserole whenever we get together as a family for major holidays. My kids. Nieces and nephews literally beg me to make this sweet potato casserole. It goes together in minutes with canned sweet potatoes. Which is ideal for the busy holiday season. Sue Miller. Mars. Pennsylvania go to recipe. Hot buttered cider mix put the butter base for this beverage in a decorative jar and attach a copy of the recipe for a great gift from your kitchen. You can omit the brandy for a kid friendly version. Taste of home test kitchen go to recipe. Thumbprint butter cookies these buttery little rounds add beautiful color to a platter of treats. Fill the thumbprint in the center with any fruit preserves you like. Taste of home test kitchen go to recipe. Shortbread I live in Missouri. But many family recipes come from New Zealand where I was born. My parents moved there when I was a year old. So I have a down under heritage. This easy shortbread recipe brings back warm memories of my childhood. And I'm going to make sure they're passed on to the next generation in my family, no matter where. They live. Alan Swenson. Camdenton. Missouri go to recipe. Roasted potatoes with garlic butter. A platter of golden and orange potatoes can serve double duty. As your dinner centerpiece. Elizabeth Kelly. Chicago. Illinois go to recipe. Favorite baked potato soup. My husband and I enjoyed a delicious baked potato soup at a restaurant. While on vacation and I came home determined to duplicate the flavor. It took me five years to get the taste right. Joanne Gertz. Genoa. Ohio go to recipe. Brown sugar pound cake. This tender pound cake is the first one I mastered. You'll want to eat the browned butter icing by the spoonful. It tastes like pralines. Sean Barto. Winter Garden. Florida go to recipe. Big and buttery chocolate chip cookies. Our version of the classic cookie is based on a recipe from a California bakery called Hungry Bear. The chocolate chip cookie is big, thick and chewy. Perfect for dunking. Irene Yeah. Mequin. Wisconsin go to recipe. Frosted cashew cookies. We savor these cookies at Christmas. But they're special year-round with coffee or tucked into a lunchbox. I won a ribbon with these cookies at my county fair. Sheila Wyam. Rutland. 
North Dakota go-to recipe. Garlic butter steak made in a skillet. This quick and easy garlic butter steak is restaurant quality and sure to become a staple at your house. 2. Lily Julo. Lawrenceville. Georgia go-to recipe. Lemon and rosemary butter cookies. Cooling lemon and aromatic rosemary make these butter cookies stand out at the holidays. I use them to punch up the cookie trays for potlucks or as gifts. Elizabeth Hokanson. Arborg. Manitoba go-to recipe. Yellow cake with buttercream frosting. This is a classic scratch cake. The homemade buttery frosting and crisp. Sugared edges really make it stand out. Aria Thornton. Milwaukee. Wisconsin go-to recipe. Stolen butter rolls. My family members enjoy my stolen so much and say it's just too good to be served only on holidays. I created this buttery, less sweet dinner roll version. Mindy White. Nashville. Tennessee go-to recipe. Grilled cabbage. The first time I made this, I couldn't believe how good it was. We served it with grilled burgers and our dinner was complete. I never thought I'd skip dessert because I was full from too much cabbage. Elizabeth Wheeler. Thornville. Ohio go to recipe. Frosted butter rum brickle bites the rum. Real butter and toffee bits made these cookies my husband's new favorite. If you'd like them less sweet, skip the frosting and sprinkle the cookies with confectioner's sugar while still warm. Cindy Narat. Menominee, Michigan go to recipe. Cranberry cake with almond butter sauce make room for this recipe in your collection. Tart cranberries and sweet almond glaze turn this potluck cake into something truly special. Betsy King. Duluth. Minnesota go to recipe. Swiss cheese bread. This bread will receive rave reviews. Whether you serve it as an appetizer or with a meal. For real convenience. You can make it ahead of time and freeze it. Carla Boyce. Martomidi. Minnesota go to recipe. Amish sugar cookies. These easy to make. Old fashioned Amish sugar cookies simply melt in your mouth. I've passed this recipe around to many friends. After I gave it to my sister. She entered the cookies in a local fair and won best of show. Sylvia Ford. Kennett. Missouri go to recipe. Browned butter red potatoes. I've been making my version of dad's potatoes for years. And it goes great with any meal. Browning the butter gives the potatoes a whole new taste. Anne Pavelak. Endicott. Washington go to recipe. Butter pecan fudge toasted pecans. Add a nutty crunch to this creamy fudge. Perfect for holiday giving. People always seem to rave about its wonderful caramel flavor. Pam Smith. Alta Loma. California go to recipe. Classic chocolate cake if you need to learn how to make chocolate cake from scratch. This easy homemade chocolate cake recipe is a perfect place to start. It appeared on a can of Hershey's Cocoa Way back in 1943. I tried it. My boys liked it. And I've been making it ever since. Betty Foyers. Morgan Hill. California go to recipe. Icebox rolls. I remember my mom making these rolls almost every Saturday so they'd be ready to bake. On Sunday for company or someone just dropping by. Although they take a little time to prepare. They're really not all that difficult to make. And there's nothing in the stores that can compare to them. Jean Fox. Welch. Minnesota go to recipe. Mimosa butter cookies. You can add many different flavors to butter cookies to make them your own. Try an alternate type of citrus zest. Or add an alternate liquid to change things up. Sarah Lark. Raton. New Mexico go to recipe. Chicken in lime butter. A few ordinary 
On-hand ingredients make this moist and tender chicken something really extraordinary. The flavor added by the rich, buttery sauce with a splash of lime juice is unmatched. It's been a hands-down winner at our house for 20-some years, says Denise Segura of Draper, Utah. Go to recipe. Pecan butter tarts I searched for the perfect butter tart for ages. After many attempts, I discovered this favorite that begs for a scoop of ice cream on top. Susan Keboham, Streetsboro, Ohio Go to Recipe. Double delights you get the best of both worlds with these chocolate and vanilla cookies. They're an appealing addition to any cookie tray. I usually serve them at the holidays, when they're often the first cookies to disappear. But you can have them any time of year. Ruth Ann Stelfox. Raymond. Alberta go to recipe. Pecan pie cobbler I couldn't find a recipe. So I took it upon myself to devise this amazing dessert that combines the ease of a cobbler and the rich flavor of pecan pie. It tastes even better with ice cream or whipped topping. Willa Kelly. Edmund. Oklahoma go to recipe. Buttery ganache cookie cups our family wanted to share our love of ganache filled cupcakes. So we made them into cookies. Even better. We bake the cookies in muffin cups. Fill with ganache. And get the best of both worlds. Adela Srinivasan. Parker. Colorado go to recipe. Cheddar buttermilk biscuits. Every bite of these flaky biscuits get a little kick from KN. Pepper and sharp cheddar cheese. They're a nice accompaniment to soup and stew. Kimberly Nuttall. San Marco. California go to recipe. Butter pound cake whether garnished with fresh berries and sprigs of rosemary or just served plain. This rich cake is fabulous. It bakes to a beautiful golden brown and it's definitely a keeper. Edgar Wright. Silver Spring. Maryland go to recipe. Chocolate tipped butter cookies. These wonderfully moist morsels are too tempting to resist. They melt right in your mouth. Rather than sprinkling the chocolate tips with nuts. You can roll them in red and green jimmies or leave them plain. Charolette Westfall. Houston. Texas go to recipe. Lemon butter Brussels sprouts kick up these stovetop lemon Brussels sprouts with fresh lemon zest. Even my toddler will eat this up. Jen Tidwell. Fair Oaks. California go to recipe. Overnight cinnamon rolls. I like to try different fun fillings in these soft rolls. And each one is packed with cinnamon flavor. They are definitely worth the overnight wait. Chris O'Connell. San Antonio. Texas go to recipe. Garlic bread. Ever wonder how to make garlic bread? This homemade garlic bread is the answer. Minced fresh garlic is key to these flavor packed crusty slices. Which our big family would snap up before they even had a chance to cool. Grace Yaskovich. Branchville. New Jersey go to recipe. Beer and pretzel caramels. Beer and pretzels are a natural combination. Mix them with smooth caramel. And you have an awesome candy. The guys will go wild over these crunchy, chunky chews. Jenny Sharp. Milwaukee. Wisconsin go to recipe. Pumpkin cookies with cream cheese frosting. These easy pumpkin cookies are pleasantly spiced. Everyone enjoys the soft, cake-like texture. 2. Lisa Chinetsky. Luzerne. Pennsylvania go to recipe. Old-time butter crunch candy. Both my children and my grandchildren say the season wouldn't be the same without the big tray of candies and cookies I prepare. This one's the most popular part of that collection. We love the nutty pieces draped in chocolate. Mildred Duffy. Bella Vista. Arkansas go to recipe. 
Butter pecan layer cake pecans and butter give this cake the same irresistible flavor as the popular butter pecan ice cream flavor. Becky Miller. Tallahassee. Florida go-to recipe. Stilton. Bacon and garlic smashed potatoes bold. Savory flavor from bacon. Stilton cheese and fresh garlic take mashed potatoes to a whole new level. This side dish is so rich and satisfying. It could be eaten as an entree. Jamie Brown Miller. Napa. California go-to recipe. Garlicky herbed shrimp. I love shrimp. Love garlic. Love herbs. Cook. M in butter and what could be better? Dave Levin. Van Nuys. California. Go-to recipe. Pecan meltaways this sweet. Nutty pecan meltaways recipe is a tradition in our house at Christmas time. But the treats are delightful any time of the year. Alberta Mackay. Bartlesville. Oklahoma go-to recipe. Browned butter spice cookies if you like spice cake. You'll love this recipe. Browned butter. Dark chocolate and a splash of rum produce an unconventional spice cookie that's guaranteed to please. Kristen Kenny. Newport Beach. California go-to recipe. Icebox butterhorns these beautiful golden rolls just melt in your mouth. People will be impressed when these appear on your table. Judy Clark. Elkhart. Indiana go-to recipe. Cinnamon coffee cake. I love the excellent texture of this easy cinnamon coffee cake recipe. Always a crowd pleaser. Its pleasing vanilla flavor enriched by sour cream may remind you of breakfast at grandma's. Comma. Make it the night before a holiday to save time in the morning. Eleanor Harris. Cape Coral. Florida go-to recipe. Shortbread hearts these flaky cookies melt in your mouth. Dipped in chocolate. They look festive. Barbara Burke. Street. George. Utah go-to recipe. Favorite chicken pot pie. This is the best chicken pot pie recipe. Chock full of chicken. Potatoes. Peas and corn. This recipe makes two golden pies. So you can serve one at supper and save the other for a busy night. Karen Johnson. Bakersfield. California go-to recipe. Sticky cinnamon sugar monkey bread. You can do all the prep work for this monkey bread the night. Before. I prepare the dough pieces and put all the sauce ingredients in the pan so it's ready for the morning. You can sprinkle chopped nuts in with the dough pieces before pouring the sauce on and baking. Diana Kunselman. Rimmersburg. Pennsylvania go-to recipe. Homemade corn muffins with honey butter. I turn classic cornbread muffins into something special by serving them with a honey butter. They're gone in a flash. Suzanne McKinley. Lions. Georgia go-to recipe. The post people are obsessed with butter candles. Here's how to make them appeared first on taste. Of home. 